Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and let's discuss the 2024 Nobel Prize in Chemistry, because this one was actually really big. And though technically this is also related to artificial intelligence, just like the award in physics, this award was given for computational protein design and protein structure prediction. With one half of the prize going to David Baker, who created an incredible tool known as Rosetta, and the other half going to Demis Hassabis, and John Jumper, part of Google's DeepMind, but in this case the award was given for the tool known as AlphaFold 2, an incredible AI-based prediction tool that's able to determine how proteins fold. And so let's actually discuss what all of this means and why this is probably one of the most crucial discoveries in chemistry and by association medicine, and why technically this is one of those tools where artificial intelligence is really changing the world. And here to understand all of this, I wanted to start with a bit of a history. And it actually starts with a different Nobel from back in 1972. Here this Nobel in chemistry was awarded to Christian Anfinsen, who was able to show that amino acid sequences actually dictate the shape of the protein, which then influences its function. In other words, once you take a piece of DNA and once it becomes RNA, or messenger RNA as we've discussed in one of the previous videos, that's actually from the Nobel in Medicine, that you can learn about in the video in the description, that RNA is then converted into amino acid chain that sort of resembles a sequence of beads all connected together. And then, for reasons we still don't really understand, or actually completely don't understand, this chain of amino acids, almost instantly, or usually in just a few milliseconds, folds into a very specific shape. Now this by itself is actually still a mystery, and there's a bit of a paradox behind this, once again, the video in the description talks about this a little bit more. But in essence, the same chain will always result in the same protein, with all this happening super quickly. But because there's a tremendous number of combinations and possible shapes in here, it's essentially impossible to predict this without doing some kind of a computational science. But we know that sometimes some proteins can actually fold incorrectly and do cause certain disorders. For example, both Alzheimer's and cystic fibrosis are actually the result of misfolded proteins. And so trying to understand how all of this works, and of course how to possibly, and to possibly control this to some extent, has actually become a really large field, often referred to as proteomics. But in order to understand this, we obviously first have to predict how this folding works. And while that turned out to be an extremely difficult task, and to try to basically combine forces, back in 1993, the US National Institute of General Medical Sciences often referred to as NIH, started a kind of a competition. It's known as CASP, where the participants often referred to as CASPers. This stands for Critical Assessment of Structure Prediction, and it's basically been running every two years. With the actual competition being really simple, you're given a chain of amino acids, and you have to find a way to predict what the protein is going to look like. And up until 2018, nothing major has actually been discovered. No one was able to predict this very accurately. But during CASP 13 in 2018, a team of researchers from DeepMind managed to place first in the overall rankings by using an artificial intelligence tool known as AlphaFold, a kind of an offshoot from their DeepMind program, which at that point already belonged to Google. And for biological sciences, this was absolutely groundbreaking. Mostly because the prediction rates here were really high. But it wasn't until a few years later that things got really extreme. And so in 2021, this open source software was able to predict two thirds of all protein structures with up to 90% accuracy, achieving accuracies that were previously thought to be impossible. Now obviously this was still not 100% accurate, but it was much much better than anything we had at that point, with the entire field of proteomics basically taken off as a result. And within just a few years, the team behind this was also able to create a kind of a database that's essentially freely available for everyone, where pretty much all of the human proteins have now been thoroughly described. And this was absolutely ridiculous, because even the team that was running CASP could not anticipate such a powerful tool. They actually thought that maybe by 2016 we'll be able to predict this with maybe 40% accuracy, but not 90%. And so nearly 200,000 proteins have now been officially described with their structure visible in three dimensions. But this is actually not that many, because according to modern research, in nature, there are possibly up to 200 million proteins that have still not been described and are still extremely important. 
But previously, we actually had to rely on extremely complex X-ray diffraction techniques in order to just study one of these proteins and in order to discover its structure. Now though, these new artificial intelligence tools allowed us to use computational methods to basically predict everything with almost 100% accuracy. And that study that described AlphaFold 2 was so influential that it's now been cited over 27,000 times in just the last two years. So for science, this was absolutely groundbreaking. But in just the last few months, there has been actually a new announcement that's going to be taking all of this to the next level. DeepMind has now announced AlphaFold 3 that's going to be even more accurate, but more importantly, is going to be able to actually predict how various molecules and how various proteins interact with one another. For example, it's going to be able to predict how various complexes form together and how they interact inside cells, or how various proteins interact with other molecules and how this potentially affects their function. Now, this was only announced in May of 2024, and unfortunately, there's one major difference with previous releases. It's actually no longer going to be open source, with the code only available to certain labs upon request. But this new tool will obviously take everything to the next level. It's going to have improved accuracy. It's also going to be able to predict how various protein structures form and interact, and obviously lead to a lot of additional discoveries. But even AlphaFold 2 was already an excellent tool. It's already predicted pretty much all known proteins, with all of the results available in that database I showed you previously. And that's of course the reason for that half of the Nobel. All of this was the result of AlphaFold's advances and its ability to predict protein structure. But the second half that went to Dr. Baker was for a slightly different achievement. In some sense, it was basically the opposite. And this began in 2003 when David Baker created a software known as Rosetta. This was also a free software and it actually did just one thing. It was able to design a protein with a desired structure. In other words, let's just say I want to make a protein that's going to fit into a certain structure and is going to do certain things. Well, this particular program would tell me which amino acids to add in a sequence so that it would then fold into the structure. And in 2003, this was demonstrated with the first ever manufactured protein that actually did not have any function. But this was a proof of concept. And so this groundbreaking study essentially discovered a way to manufacture function or to reverse engineer certain proteins. And at some point, many of us, including myself, were even running a screensaver known as Rosetta at Home. This was a volunteer computing project that would conduct some of this basic research by using volunteers' computers. And over the years, a lot of different proteins were designed using this program, including some that you see in this image. We have a very unusual nanomaterial designed in 2016, a protein that binds to fentanyl and can be used to detect it designed in 2017, a nanoparticle imitating influenza virus that can actually be used as a vaccine designed in 2021, a biomechanical roller designed in 2022, and a protein that acts as a tiny sensor designed in 2024. And these were just some of the more recent projects, but essentially this Rosetta tool created a way for us to design proteins. So if you wanted to make some kind of a vaccine, it would tell you exactly which amino acids to use in order to produce the shape. And so here David Baker was recognized as the founder of this project. And even in one of the recent studies from just a few months ago, David Baker's team was actually able to design a completely new luciferase or essentially a glow-in-the-dark protein, more officially known as the light-emitting enzyme, that was designed completely from scratch and was created through AI tools, showing us that you can actually design something that did not evolve naturally. In case you're wondering, it kind of looks like this. And so in essence, as of 2024, we've now reached a completely new level when it comes to proteomics. Now we have tools to not just predict protein structure, but we can also design them from scratch for a very specific function, which honestly, when I went to college, would be considered science fiction, and most people thought that we'll never actually get there. And so these two Nobel Prizes in chemistry and in physics highlight the importance of artificial intelligence in various scientific fields. And honestly, with all these tools, it's unlikely we would ever actually find a way to predict proteins with such accuracy. But here we also have to be a little bit careful. This is still not 100% accurate, and as a matter of fact, even the recent version of AlphaFold 3 still basically hallucinates and sometimes creates proteins that are not real and does create structures that are unrealistic. So we still have to actually confirm everything using traditional techniques, such as for example, 
X-ray crystallography, and the human component is still required. Nevertheless, these are still incredible achievements, and this Nobel Prize was definitely well deserved. And so, once again, congratulations to these three wonderful scientists, and let's actually see where all of this goes in, let's just say, next 10 years? Yeah, I can only imagine how far we'll get. Anyway, on that note, we'll come back and discuss the Rosetta and the Alpha Fold in some of the future videos, but until then, check out previous videos in the description. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learn about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying the wonderful person's t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.